CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Okay, heading up to Escadilla. I'm gonna be pretty winded today. Still acclimating, we're at uh, 9,000 feet and I have almost 2,000 to go. So it'll take me a while this trip. I haven't been able to exercise for the past few weeks due to illness and rain, so Hopefully, get to the top here. It'll just take me longer, I'll take it easy. But uh, beautiful, it snowed up here on Monday. So uh, beautiful today. Um, everything's green. They've had a lot of moisture. The ground is still kind of soft. So it's gonna be a, an enjoyable trip up. Aspen, as you can see, are in, uh, I'm full blast. So, just gorgeous up here, as usual. Um, what's really cool though, is I can hear the elk bugling up to the left of me and in front of me. Maybe we'll see some. That'd be really special. Well, this grove of Aspen has gone up about another foot. As you can see, these guys are in full bloom, rocking it up here in the sunshine. It's probably 70 up here, 65, 70. I'm a bit warm, but you know, I've got a couple layers on. I've broken out onto the next major feature of this hike. It's really nice little, coming up on a saddle, we'll come up over that ridge actually. Uh, but uh, it's springtime. This is a lot greener than it was last spring, just because they've had more than double the precipitation. Um, awesome, as you can see, clear skies. We have a nice wind blowing, and it is awesome up here. So, just tried out my SATCOM unit, sent a couple messages, got some back. And I'm monitoring the local repeater just to see what the performance is like. It's been really good, I can get into it. No problemo. It's over at Alpine on the other side of the mountain, but yeah, it does really well. Actually, it's on South Mountain where I was this morning. So regarding the inReach unit, my SATCOM, it gives me two-way paging. The bill just sent an SOS. Uh, uh, SMS paging that is. So seems to be working. It uses the iridium network. Um, so that way I can have people track me with tracking currently turned on at share.garmin.com slash Claiborne. More info on that will be available on my blog site. This will be posted there as well ninja.com All right, let's get this done. There's Mount Baldy in the distance. Got a lot of snow up there still. So, um, Mount Baldy in Arizona. And that's it. Oh, close to 12,000 over there. So, beautiful day. This is where I've come from. And it's just getting better. And this, oh, where are we going to? This is kind of cool. Um, kind of a little bit unexpected. It snowed um, on Monday. 
It's about 30 degrees this morning, so it's actually getting below zip up here, but got a little patch of snow. So very cool. I can say I hiked in the snow. Listen. There you go. <laughs> yeah, gotta love it. This is the next to last major feature on the trip. We're in a little uh, saddle right here. So we're in a cruise and if we zoom in, you should be able to see the lookout tower up there. That's where we're headed. I think we got about another 400 feet to climb. Good to go. Unbelievably beautiful today and quiet. Just the trees whistling in the wind. I don't hear the elk bugling anymore. I was hoping to run into some. We'll see. I'll start the backwards today. I want to start at the peak with the videos. Going across, there's a wire strung up on the tree. That's a counterpoise on my uh, vertical here, which as you can see is kind of slanted over, so I'm going to fix that. The wind's uh, blowing pretty darn hard up here today, uh, but setup is done in about 10 minutes. And uh, just getting ready to set up my operating position here with a beautiful view up to the north here. Swinging around slowly here. Do a little pan and then looking out toward the east. I got the hat tied on. Uh, the winds get pretty gusty up here right now. It's pretty windy. But uh, I fixed the antenna back there. Put a little uh, rope on it to keep it from getting bent over. Here's my operating position. Right here, I don't know if you can see it. We got the radius out there. And uh, the bands are alive. A lot of CW today. Uh, a lot of CW. Um, if we jump down to that part of the band, uh, it's going pretty crazy down there. pretty view. You probably can't see how baldy up there with snow on it. And uh, this particular route I'd researched uh, a couple months ago, I spotted this, I don't know, maybe a truck trail or whatever, a green jeep trail up to a certain point. And uh, wow, this is so much easier than last year. <laughs> Last year involved a little bit of bushwhacking, a lot of fallen trees and stuff. This was so much easier. As I head down toward the uh, <coughs> vehicle, you can see it's a, a decent jeep trail. I might have actually made it take it up here, but um, I want to get out walking. Anyway. And uh, there was a section. I wasn't sure I could turn around. But, uh, Back at the car. Um, I think I'm gonna head down to Mogollon since I am so far south. Got a bunch of contacts up there, it was fun. No chasing, uh, everybody was using either 10 meter, CW, couldn't get them. There weren't that many guys out on the summits yet, so we'll see what we can do um, uh, chasing wise from the other summit. It's about, uh, I don't know, 10 o'clock now, and we should be able to get out on the other summit by. Hopefully 10, 
Uh, we'll see here. I haven't mapped it out, but uh, we'll see. I'm at the Muggy on Rim um, Summit Trailhead. This is the road I just came up, turned around. So, um, and then we're gonna head up there. Nothing but fallen logs. Lost my cell phone up here last year, did find it. So, <laughs> I'm gonna tuck this baby away today. Hopefully I can get this done before it starts raining. Looking a little dark up there. It's a really big activation zone, so if you do come up here uh, to do a little soda, you can really pick your spot. So I may actually tie off onto one of these uh, no longer used uh, fence posts and uh, make it easier to set up here for the high winds. And uh, we'll see how it goes here. Let me come over near the edge here, look due south. Get a better view here. Uh, between the trees there is Bali. So looking up toward uh, northwest. Probably north about here. You can see it's pretty well bent over and you probably can't see the wire. It goes basically straight away up kind of that aspen's help holding it off the ground and my operating position. So let's get set up. All right, uh, this is a bit unexpected. Um, I'm picking up a little bit of corn snow here and uh, it's getting colder. <laughs> and it's uh, I think June 1st is tomorrow. This is crazy. Um, so yeah. I'm uh, getting ready to pack up here. I'll switch the camera around. Looks like there's a nice uh, thunderstorm over there, but it may, they may be getting snow if you're up high enough. Let's look. You can see uh, some good buildups over there. Uh, it's coming up over the rim here from the south. So that's where it's probably pick up some corn stuff and this stuff coming over me. So, um, pretty windy up here. All right. Uh, just got back to the car. It's interesting as to the southeast of me, there's thunder. And I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> it's snowing. So it's actually the 26th tomorrow, it's not June 1st, but uh, I bet it's just a lot more dramatic, right? Because it's June, it's snowing. But uh, it's actually snowing a little bit more now. I don't know if you can see that. But. Uh, Yep, back in the car, getting ready to head back. Uh, so that wraps it up for two summits today. Um, it got darn cold up there for a while, but uh, I had an extra two. There's the thunder. So we have thunder and corn snow. <laughs> Gotta love it. I guess the hardest thing about doing timber top is trying to figure out how to work through all the new aspen up here. They're so thick and you don't want to damage anything that's new or green actually as the mountain recovers. It makes it hard to find a path to the summit but uh, we're getting there. Timber top. Good morning, this is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air at Whiskey 7 Alpha, Slant Alpha Papa 015. Okay, head back down. Um, I found that if you stay east a little bit more, you can stay out of the main thicket of uh, Aspen, making the trek a little bit easier. For anybody else that's going to do this particular summit, it'll be uh, a lot easier doing that. So you just take that uh, Jeep trail up as far as you can go, then go a bit farther east, and then uh, kind of come up the southeast. It gets pretty windy up here. Scattered clouds, visibility a million miles. Had contacts up into Virginia, Florida, uh, Oklahoma, all the usual suspects. Uh, got a couple summit to summits in there. Also got some CW. 
work some stations with CW uh, with my crummy skills like in Samba Camp. Hard to copy, but uh, it was enough I could get the summit. I didn't have the, uh, the uh, station and my signal report and that sort of thing. Generally, the contacts are really, really short. You get your signal report and then they're out of there in the next contact. So, a lot of fun today. Gonna head over to Escadia Butte. Be off the mountain here in just a minute. Okay, I'd much rather be driving my Highlander, but my dad left us this 1984 Nissan uh, 4x4 pickup. 1984, this thing still runs, it starts right up, it's amazing. Um, and the engine's never been overhauled. Um, it's uh, taking me up to Escadilla and all over the mountains. Uh, certainly not as nice as the Highlander, but uh, what a great vehicle uh, to have on hand as a second while Jeanette uses the Highlander uh, to go see her parents. So, thanks Dad, and thank you Nissan for building such a freaking awesome pickup. At the trailhead for Escadilla Butte, the area was hit by the fire, but the fire stayed down on the ground, so the trees are a little bit uh, black on the uh, trunks, but they uh, survived the fire, so this whole area is pretty well intact. Very pretty drive up here, partly cloudy or scattered clouds and a million mile visibility. The winds are really whipping uh, up top. Should be a good hike up. This be able to, probably one of the more challenging ones. There's an old Jeep trail down here that we have to bushwhack to. But this is my kind of bushwhacking. Going through, being careful with the any new growth here. Certainly a lot of new little pines popping up here. But uh, beautiful day out here. So we'll swing east. What I've done before. This one. Charts from all trails, etc. Here's our view. Let's get a view. Actually, I can go up there on the get that side this is pretty much straight up might be a little tough plus it's like a little bit of rock in there so we'll cruise up this little hole here it used to be a road I think and go up to the southeast side A little zigzag here so I'm heading back toward the west um, as we go up the mountain this is probably the easiest uh, route I've taken so far it's gotten me around some uh, growth obstacles that I've had in the past you can see the peak right there we're not far from it so I'm gonna go straight ahead but not while holding the camera According to the chart, I got like five more topo lines to go through, but this is that gentle ridge that'll take me up there. I don't know the spacing of the topo lines. It's between 25 and 30 feet. Uh, it doesn't really look like I'm on the top here, but this was a good move. Come up here in this quasi ridge uh, to the east and then 
crank up. Off we go. Yeah. So, look at this. Pine needles, grass. This is my kind of bushwhacking. Ask me what this thing is on my leg. It's a keyer. It's a paddle. So hold this down, and we'll get uh, we'll get tones here, dashes and dots. So let's try sending my uh, call sign while I hold the phone. That's the nice thing about it. There you go. Okay, I'm using my um, InReach Explorer to Garmin device uh, that uses Iridium. I was able to send a message into the spotting network, um, and there must have been a satellite right overhead when I pressed the send because uh, it put me right up on the SOTA website, and I had people calling me right away. That's very cool. So I'll post a picture of, uh, I basically sent the message from my phone. It connects to the device via Bluetooth, and uh, allows me to send text messages, SMS, etc. Uh, this particular SMS message goes to a unit in Europe um, that puts me on sodawatch.com. So, very handy little uh, device there. Um, certainly also can use it to send the SOS, but hopefully I'll never have to use that feature. Um, also use it for tracking. So I turn on tracking, it should be tracking right now under uh, share.garmin.com slash Claiborne. Um, by the time you see this, uh, or watch this video, obviously I won't be on the air, but uh, who knows, maybe I'll be out there. So uh, anyway, I just thought I'd show that device. Taking a quick break as I head down the mountain. Man, it wasn't windy up there today. Um, really at times just whipping. But anyway, I can tell you one thing, it's definitely easier going downhill than up. Okay. Back down at the back down at the road. Jeep trail, what used to be the Jeep trail, it's closed now. But uh flattened out. Coming up to this little meadow here. I'll give you a peek. If we get up there. That's Escadilla. The other side anyway. And uh, for Escadilla, that carpet of yellow is aspen. So we're on back with a vengeance there. So we're coming up to the little meadow here. Look at all these little trees. Sorry, I didn't bring the GoPro. A whole bunch of new ones. Yeah, at least three years old. This is going to be pretty. This is kind of cool. A whole kind of thicket of seedlings here years old. A ton of them around these trees. Never seen so many kind of bunched up. And then down farther on the other side of the road there's a whole another thicket of them. So pine trees just going crazy in here. We're gonna have to duke it out for sunlight. Back in the pickup on the way home. That uh, makes it uh, let's see six summits four days. So there was one day I didn't go hiking. It's one easy two day, uh, two summits per day. Um, I was hoping to do some chasing on this last mountain, but without internet access, <laughs> that's a little bit hard since you don't know who's out there. Uh, but I did get one summit to summit right away. I heard a guy on the frequency I had been using earlier, so that worked out well. Anyway, there you have it.